Hello friends, welcome to episode 21. In this video, we are going to see how you can create and manage knowledge base article templates in Dynamics 365. So let's go ahead and have a look. Okay, so setting up a comprehensive knowledge base is the key to increase customer satisfaction and improve the productivity. So a knowledge base is created to help the customer service representatives with solutions to the most common issues so that they can assist the customer quickly. A similar kind of case, uh, you know, comes in. So let's take a scenario where, you know, we are receiving a lot of requests on how to set up chart of accounts in uh, Business Central. So this is a kind of query that comes up uh, very often. So uh, as a support consultant or as a company, we decide that, okay, we will create a knowledge base article so that our uh, consultants can use that in order to solve cases related to that. So let's say we want to create a template which is related to procedures. So let's just change the area over here and go to service management. And over here, let's click on article templates and now when you click on new it's going to first ask you to choose a language so let us just choose a language over here and click on okay so let's just give it a logical name let's say the Q process template and then let's just give it a title maybe this template is related to business central topics so you can give uh, um, as many keywords as you want. So this is not an internal one and the subject related product. So you can provide a description saying use this template to create tech notes. So using the content area, you can start designing your template. So you can either use um, designer or the HTML. And once you have done that, you can actually also uh, look, have a look at the preview. So um, let's just say I have already prepared um, uh, sample template over here so there's a section called purpose and scope uh, uh, where you define the purpose of uh, this article then you define the whole procedure in step-by-step -step manner and then if there are any additional comments you can provide it over here additionally you can also uh, provide a link uh, for uh, you know for the users to give you a feedback if they found the article uh, good enough or not so if you are more visual oriented you can use the designer and use the, all the tools that are available over here or you can use HTML if you're a little more technical and uh, get as much creative as you want. So let's say that we have done that and now the template is ready. We can save and close this. Now you will see that this um, template is now available. However, it cannot be used yet. So it's kind of in a staging area. It's not activated yet. So to activate that, you need to select this template and say everything is okay. Uh, I would like to activate this template. And once this is activated, now this template, it will be available throughout the company and can be used by uh, your customer's support representative to create uh, knowledge base articles. That's all about the knowledge base article templates. Very easy. You can go forward and create as many templates as you want. For example, for process related, for question and answers, or let's say a generic template uh, that can be used by anybody else. So now let's go back to the service area. So over here in the knowledge articles, I can go ahead and create a new one or to save time, I can actually create a new from a template. So I would like to create a new from a template. Let me click on this. So as soon as it opens, it actually starts asking, okay, choose a template. I can go ahead and say, okay, this is the template that I want to choose and then click on okay. So you will notice that um, various content has already been inherited from the template like title, keywords, description. I can go ahead and um, change the title as well. And uh, over here in the keywords, I can add some more keywords uh, to be a little more specific. Now, since I'm using a template, it actually helps me to save a lot of time because now I know that, you know, I have to add a purpose, I have to add a procedure and then additional comments uh, for, you know, to follow in line with the standards laid out by my company. So, you know, it, it actually standardizes the process throughout the company. Otherwise, you know, Various people have their own styles and they will start creating KB articles, which might not look similar. So uh, this helps in your uh, branding efforts as well. So since I already have um, a heading, I know what I need to do so I can start adding a purpose. So whatever the purpose is and the procedure, I can then start saying, okay, one click GL accounts then go and do other steps and then you know go on and add the details 
So once this is done, obviously you can go ahead and uh, save and close. There might be certain process that you need to go through. At first, you know, a person uh, creates a KB article and then it has been approved by a manager internally and only then it can be, uh, you know, activated. So right now, you know, this is in the draft state or let's say my manager goes over here and says, okay, it's okay to approve. So it has been approved and now I would need to publish it so that when you search for the article, it is displayed in the search results. So let's go ahead and publish this um, article. So let's say I'm a support consultant and currently I'm working on this particular case where we have some issue related to general ledger setup and I'm on the research stage right now. So I'm trying to find out if there are any KB articles that I can attach to this case and maybe send it to the customer to resolve this case. So for that, I go to the related section and click on this icon, which is the knowledge base search icon. And as you can see that um, in the search criteria, the title of the case is automatically populated. So based on this, the system will try to find out all the possible results uh, based on the title, based on the keywords that has been selected. And I can then scroll down and see if there are any related articles available that I can link. And I can see that there is this article which is available and I can select and link this article. Uh, for example, if you do not uh, find uh, based on this particular title, you can also search for it. Let's say set up chart of accounts and over here you can find that this article is available. So what I do is I go ahead and link this article and now as you can see that the icon has changed to blue which means that this article is now linked to this uh, case and what I can also do is I can click on email and this particular article will be emailed to the customer. So I hope you got an overview of how you can create KB articles template, then create KB articles out of those templates and also search for the KB articles and attach it to a right case and also send it to the customer as a solution. So why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself.